Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction. Today guys, I'm checking out another video created by Nightstroke. A little while ago, I did a reaction to one of his videos called Top 10 Arrowverse Superheroes Who Look Nothing Like the Comics. And I said in that video that at some point I was going to check out his other video he made called Top 10 Arrowverse Superheroes Who Look Exactly Like the Comics. And that's what I'm doing today. Now in that video where they look nothing like the comics, I thought that was really interesting to see the side-by-side -side comparison of what they look like in the Arrowverse and the pictures from the comics and seeing the huge changes and so in this video we're gonna be seeing where they basically looked at the comics and went okay we're gonna adapt that in our own way and make it look really close to the comics because I don't think there's an, a, a person looks exactly like the comics but there are very very close ones for sure so without further ado let's jump into it now guys from Nightstroke himself top 10 arrow verse superheroes who look exactly like the comics let's go guys okay let's see and obviously we're gonna pause throughout this Obviously. Okay. This is very comic book accurate. I think this was, this was his first attempt at using a T-sphere, I think. I'm waiting for the thing. Waiting. I don't know what that music was. Um, okay. Yeah, that, that's very close. I mean, look, they could have easily did an adaptation, but I think that this was the right move of them actually just taking it as is. Because it's not that hard. I mean, it's just a jacket. The T on the face, yes, could be a little bit tricky. But I, I, I think it's a, it's a great adaptation. You can see the slight modification, like the, like the design a little bit on the shoulders there. But it's the colors are mostly there and the T's obviously on the face, so it's good. And people are kind of mixed on Curtis in general. I mean, I like him as a character. I think he's grown a lot on the show since he was introduced in season four, the worst season of the show. Um, but he's gotten a lot better. And, and I'm glad that they didn't immediately introduce T-Spheres. Like, they were teasing it for a bit, but they finally introduced it in season five. But it they took its time because Curtis... I, I, it would have been like a Laurel situation in season three because Laurel's thing was rushed really fast. I know I'm rambling at this point, but Laurel's thing was rushed really fast in season three of Arrow. That was a big critique, a big issue with that season. And so for this, it's like, okay, let's not rush Curtis. Like he was having a lot of issues and finally we got to the point now where he can actually hold his own and he's on a new team. So anyways, yeah, pretty good. I'm not really sure about that music. Firestorm, another good one. This is one that I'm really glad they got right. It's good. And it sucks. He's gone now. I think he'll return at some point. I would think, but I don't know. But that is a good, a good design. Pissed. Good shot. Yeah, that's really close. I mean... Wow, <laughs> just seeing those pictures, like it just it blows my mind how well they got this uh, the, the costume. Because when they first introduced Firestorm, he didn't have a costume per se. Like they, they they introduced the little machine that goes over the chest, but they didn't actually have the actual suit itself. And I think the colors really well done. And I, and they did a Deathstorm version for a uh, Robbie, a uh, Ronnie, excuse me, like Robbie, that's his name, Robbie Mel. But Ronnie on Earth Two, they actually had a Deathstorm kind of version. Um, but I'm glad that they went with comic book accurate for Firestorm. They, they realistically should have comic book accurate for everybody, but the fact that they got at least a few of them right, I mean, it's it's good. I, I, I'm hoping that the characters that don't have the comic book accurate version of the uh, of the suits will eventually upgrade to that point. You would think, but we'll see. But then again, some of them are adaptations, some of them are story things. So who knows? This is a good one now. I don't know how they could have messed this up. I guess the only way they could have truly messed up Martian Manhunter is if the CG just didn't look anything like him, but I think they got a good design. This was a big moment. People lost their collective. I lost my shit. Everyone did when this happened. They're like, what? Such an, such an epic, iconic moment. This blew people away. Not, not just the fact that the, the design, I mean, yeah, the... The actual suit itself was a little bit different, but the actual design of, like, his actual self, his alien self, it's very good. It is very good. And people didn't know exactly, because I remember in season one, before they introduced officially who he was, his eyes kept glowing red. I'm like, oh, my God, he's 
he's Cyborg Superman. Like everyone thought that. They completely flipped. Now I think there's a story out there where it turns out they decided to go with Martian Manhunter after they casted him, the act, the actor who portrays uh, Martian Manhunter on the show. So I, I think it was a nice change. I think it made sense. I don't know about that music, guys. Another good one. They could have went silver and red, but they went with classic yellow and red. Sorry, I had to stretch my legs. Sure it's fine, guys. Yeah, it's fine. That is, yeah, that's, it's close. I remember when they revealed this, people were like, oh my god, they actually did Wally West. And now, we, as we know, he's going to Legends of Tomorrow. Um, because the, my guess is the Flash can't afford him. Because they were saying how early on in Season 4 that they... Uh, there's a reason why Barry got knocked out or Wally got knocked out during fights because they couldn't use both of them at the same time because of budget. But regardless, the suit, I'm so glad they got the suit right. It looks so good. I think there's a neck, a neck issue at first where it was kind of like down like this, so they fixed it. Now it's up to like, you know, he, he looks more comfortable. Because like I think right there you can kind of see where the neck is kind of slanted, but it could be just the angle, but... Wow, they got it. The, the, wow. Not, the colors, obviously, they could have went with any color. They could have went yellow red which they did or silver and red but I'm, I'm glad regardless because the design is really damn good it was better than Barry's Barry's season four suit is is awesome but season one through three obviously he's just beginning to be a superhero it's obviously not going to be an amazing suit when he starts off but oh my god everybody on on that show just that show alone had a better suit than Barry it was pretty sad for Barry it really was finally yeah okay okay this is the season four suit is a season one through three suit. Yes, they gave the white emblem on the chest, but it didn't matter. It just looked bad. And when they introduced in season three the once and what, what was it? The once and future flash. Is that the episode title where Barry goes in the future, 2024, meets future self, and he has an epic suit? I'm like, holy shit! And thank God, they they was just a tease for what's gonna happen in season four. It looked that looks so good. It looks so much better. I lost my shit when I found out. Like, I made a video about it, too. It was leaked photos. I didn't give a shit. I'm like, oh, my God, Barry's actually going to get an upgrade. Because I was complaining. I kept complaining. Barry, I like you as a character. I like the show, but your suit looks so bad. It's just so generic, and it's not even a cool red. Like, it's a, it's a bland red. Thank God they gave him a suit upgrade. Thank God. Ragman. They said he was going to come back in Season 6 of Arrow. Still waiting for that. Maybe that's going to happen uh, close to the end of the season. Why they kick him off, I don't know. I guess it's budget. It's always budget for some of these characters. They bring the character in, and they push him away because of budget. Or in Wally's case, push another uh, show entirely. Which is better than kicking him off the show, so I guess it's better. It's close. I mean, let's be honest. Comic book picture right there looks a lot better than Ragman uh, in the actual show, but... They, they they got the design well, but down pretty well. I mean, you can look at that for saying go scarecrow, <laughs> but no. Uh, regardless, I think it's a good design, and maybe he'll get an upgrade if he returns to Arrow. Who knows? But if they if they ask me specifically, what would you want to see in season seven of the show? Give give me your input. One of the things, Ragman, bring him in, give him a little bit of an upgrade on his suit, bring him back in. He's a, he was an amazing character. I miss that guy. Miss him. Okay. And this is interesting because yesterday Stephen Amell actually teased the season four suit, which, yes, yeah, season four of Arrow is an abomination, and it is the worst thing the Arrow, the worst thing in the Arrowverse. It's the worst thing, and yet the season four suit is so good. Maybe he's going back to the suit. Maybe it's a flashback. Who knows? But yeah, it's good. It is good. And, and you know what? Honestly, I, I would be okay if they went if they went back to a version of this suit. I would be fine with it because it is a really good design. It's just unfortunately the design that the, that this was on. Oh God, it was hard to get through. Jay Garrick. Yep. This was a big moment. Like everyone kept saying, "Please, please let it be Henry." And it is. Well. Not Henry, but I get my point. Wow. 
Epic. My reaction to this was I lost my mind when they revealed him. It is good. Now, obviously, the, the lightning bolt is not out. Hit my finger on the desk. Fuck you, desk. Uh, obviously, the lightning bolt is not exactly placed in the right area. It's just a big lightning uh, lightning bolt on the chest. But the colors are really good. I mean, it, it's, it's the leather adaptation of the actual suit. But, yeah, and I like the fact that the helmet wasn't a thing that he actually wore on his Earth. It was a thing that he adapted when they saved him at the um, at the end of season two, so and I'm, and he's coming back in episode fifteen of season four of Flash. I can't wait to see that, Miss Jay Garrett. They need to have more often. They need to have more often. This, this is very easy though. Constantly like ah, you know what? I don't know. I don't know if I count this one just because it's so easy to get right. And if they fuck this one up, I'd be like, what? It's very easy to get this one right. Come on, though. I missed this show. Okay, that was a weird pause. The the video glitched there for a second. That was weird. Um, or if that was intentional, just to show the suit. But, I mean, it's just a jacket and a nice shirt and a tie. Like, give it a pass. <laughs> you get my point. I mean, yeah, it's easy. Superman, okay. This was in the thumbnail. I was waiting for this one. Yep. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh my god. I was like, Jesus. Jesus. Uh, everyone, this is my cousin, Su Superman. I guess you already know. Yes. Hi. 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 Good to see you. They got the design really well. It looks really... I don't, I don't know about that music, but anyways... Uh, it's it's really good, it is. And look, the the first promotional photo they released of uh, Superman and Supergirl together it was after Comic Con because Tyler Hecklin was saying, "Yeah, uh, I haven't tried on the suit yet." Bullshit! I bet you did. You just didn't want to tell nobody. Um, but the first official picture that they uh, that they dropped, it, his face looked kind of weird in it, but the the suit looked great. And yes, it is very comic book accurate. I mean, I, I don't know how you could really screw up Superman's suit. I don't know how you really could have done it. But, uh, yeah, fucking epic. I think that's the end of it. Yep, that is it. That is it. I'm gonna let it run out. I'm actually gonna turn down the volume. Turn down that volume. So, there you have it, guys. That is the reaction. I mean, John Constantine's the only one that I kind of go, eh, you know, you could have probably, there, there's probably someone else you could have added in in the mix. But I think, overall, it just makes me question. No, that's another video he did. He just recently put out today. And then, look, there's me right there. Whoa, there's me. Um, so, anyways, let me actually turn this thing off. Stop recording. So, um, yeah, the suit designs for the for the most part were really, really good. I mean, Mr. Terrific is very, very easy to get done. Superman, I don't know how you really could have screwed that up. John Constantine's so simple. Um, and, and it's weird because there's some instances in terms of storytelling why the, the costumes might look different or they just want to go in a different direction for the tone or something like that or for the character itself. But there's some cases where the outfits just make no sense of why they're different because Black Canary is it's a simple design. Like you can th there's obviously different designs in the comic books, but it's very simple to do. Yet they give Laurel in season 4 specifically a bunch of buckles and, and it and it looked really bizarre. It did. Why couldn't she got in a comic book accurate? I, I don't know. But this is a pretty good list. I mean, Firestorm, I, I'm glad that they gave him a suit and they got the, the colors right. It's unfortunate that Firestorm is currently gone at the moment. Maybe he'll return at some point, but probably not at this point. We're moving on to other stuff. Kid Flash, very, very good. Like and They were even teasing a little bit because I think Wally was racing in a silver car. I don't know if it had red on it or not. But they were teasing a little bit that that might be the direction they're going, but they decided to go with the classic yellow and red, which I'm fine with. I mean... There could have been some confusion of Reverse Flash, but no, not really, because Reverse Flash in this uh, timeline-wise, in terms of the Arrowverse, has the yellow and black. So in this case, it's like, okay, well, he's going to have yellow and red. The red's going to be obviously standing out. It's not going to be like all yellow and then a little bit of red here and there. They made sure to give a huge variety of both colors to make him stand out, but very, very good. Um, 
and Superman, obviously, like I mentioned before. Um, good list. It really was a good list. And, and I like these type of videos where we can kind of have a discussion within the reaction and kind of go over things. Because, um, you know, regardless of what's happening with uh, WBTV blocking videos, and I honestly believe it's a bot at this point that are blocking reactions to the CWDC shows, I still enjoy the Arrowverse. Like, I still love the Arrowverse, and I still like talking about it. And so, you know, it's cool from time to time to kind of have these discussions, not based on reactions or live streams. It's kind of like do videos where we can kind of look at characters and kind of discuss things that's going on in these shows. So it's always fun to do. So there you have it, guys. That is the video. Top 10 Arrowverse superheroes who look exactly like the comics. Obviously, some don't look exactly, but they're close enough. Like, they literally just took and adapted it and tweaked a little bit here and there. But overall, it is the design, and they stuck with it. And um, I'm hoping that with the characters who don't look exactly like the comics but they're maybe pretty close or they just need to do a little bit of changes here or there and they, they can actually get to that point i'm hoping it happens because i think yes there are some characters for story story reasons that they they're not going to do it but there's other characters there's no reason why they do, why they shouldn't have the comic book accurate outfits and i understand it because i've made this argument too so i'm arguing against myself this is tv this is an adaptation of the comics this is this is not the comic books but if you're going to give some characters the comic book accurate outfits, the costume suits, whatever you want to call it, why are others that could easily have it not have it? That's my question. I just don't know. But anyways, guys, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you thought about this video, the characters that were that were shown in this video, other characters that were not in this video that have comic book accurate suits. Whatever thoughts you have about the Arrowverse, superheroes, their outfits, whatever thoughts, let me know in the comment section below. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.